when this video gets published, it will be the last day of the year, which means it is time for some New Year's resolutions. Yes, that's right. Today, we are going to be talking about screen resolution and how it affects your experience when using a monitor. Okay, let's just start with the very basics. Right here, I've got an apple. Let's say it's your job to make a replica of this apple using this type of Duplo bricks. Now these, as you probably know, are Lego bricks for extremely small children and they're massive. Which means if you're going to build a full-scale replica of this apple, you use, I don't know, five, six of those bricks. And that's not a lot, which means you're not going to be able to make something that looks like this apple. And that's not your fault, it's my fault because I gave you these stupid bricks. Of course, if I gave you these kinds of very small Lego bricks, you could create something that looks a lot more like this apple, because you can use a lot more bricks. The more bricks you use, the more details you can get. In an ideal world, the bricks would be infinitely small, so you can use an infinite amount of bricks, in which case you can create a perfect replica. And of course, what we're talking about here is resolution. Resolution simply refers to how many bricks you use to build something. And in the world of screens, it refers to the amount of pixels on the screen. The resolution on a spec sheet of a screen is often given in the form of two numbers with an X in between them. So, for example, 1920 times 1080, in which case 1920 is the horizontal resolution, the horizontal amount of pixels, and 1080, the vertical amount of pixels. And if you multiply them by each other, of course, you get the total amount of pixels on the screen, which is, in case of the 1080p display, about 2 million pixels. Now, generally, a higher resolution means you can get better image quality, but there are a few twists that you have to watch out for. So, first of all, the distance between you and the monitor is really important. As you can probably imagine, when you're sitting really close to the screen, you can see the pixels, but when you're really far away from the screen, you can't. It's kind of like one of those old paintings where it looks better when you're further away from the painting. So, if you're a person that, for some reason, doesn't sit very close to his monitor but is located very far away, you probably don't need a very high resolution. Something else that is very important is the pixel density, which refers to the amount of pixels per square centimetre. So here's an example that explains pixel density. Let's say we've got a tiny mobile phone screen with 2 million pixels on it, and we've got a large screen with, a two, uh, with 2 million pixels on it. Now, technically speaking, they both have the same amount of pixels and therefore display the same amount of information and therefore the same amount of detail. But in reality, the small screen will look a lot better because the pixels on that one are going to be way smaller, which means you can't see them. So pixel density is something that matters too. Now, those were the things that matter when it comes down to the screen itself and your position relative to the screen. But there are some other things outside of the screen that are important as well. First of all, there is hardware. If you want a screen that has more pixels on it and displays more detail, you need some kind of system, whether it's a computer or a cable service, that can provide enough information to utilise all those pixels. In normal English, you need a powerful computer. That's why all these people use very fast graphics cards. That's why people need things like the GTX 1080. They don't need that to be able to play games. They need that to be able to play games on a massive screen with loads of pixels. Something else that matters is the content you're playing back on the screen. So, let's just take an example again. Let's say you've bought a really good, really fancy stereo, and then you play a really crappy recording on that stereo. And of course it will sound bad. Right, the stereo can't help that, it's a very good one, but the recording is crap, so it's not going to sound good. Well, it's the same thing with a screen. You can buy the largest, biggest, the best 8K monitor, 
Is there even... Yes, I think there is an 8K monitor right now. You can buy an 8K monitor and play a shitty video on it, and it won't look any better on the 8K monitor. Actually, in some cases, it might look worse, because the monitor is now bigger. So there you go. Now you know exactly what screen resolution is, and also some of the things that you have to consider when dealing with it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and of course I wish everyone a splendid 2018.